So uh, Weizenbach, Dark Weizenbach. Dark Weizenbach, inspired by Patrick uh, and his brewery, uh, the yeah. brewery. The beer is called Fert de Zieg. It's a beautiful 11.5% yeah. imperial vice beer. And that's a beautiful term, it means ride the goat. I think what's really rad about this beer is kind of all the components that went into it. They found some, uh, um, some blueberries mm -hmm. close by in uh, a little farm outside of Berlin. Yep. Um, and then uh, they got into some rum barrels. They partially aged some in rum Ooh. barrels as well. So we should rum stop barrels. talking about it and try it. Oh, ah. beautiful sound. Oh man, dude, the nose on this, the blueberries. Oh, you can already was smell the blueberries. Like popping. Wow. Dude, the, <laughs> the aroma is super intense. Wow. I can smell the blueberries. I can yeah. smell like some clove. You get the rum characteristic once you put it to your nose. You get the rum. You get sweetness of the rum. Yeah. You get some earthy tones of rum. I you mean, still get the berries in there too. You get the nice, like nice light acidity of the blueberry. A little bit of the actual flavor from it. But then I really like the banana and kind of clove undertones that are going on yep. with this. Getting some nice caramel, a little bit of toffee. Probably from the barrel, I would, I would think. I would think, yeah. You get a little bit of uh, alcohol kick at the very end. 11.5%. Wow. Even, even at that high alcohol, it's still very well balanced. I, I think it's a good example of a beer that takes roots from a style and just kind of expands on it and goes in another direction. Yeah. So the, I think the base is still there, still Weizenbach base, um, but it really kind of takes it into a whole new realm. From Jeremy and I, uh, cheers everybody. We hope you enjoy this as much as we did. Cheers. Cheers.